Hello, my name is Dave from Talking Wolves, and I'm going to be giving the guys at We Are Tottenham TV some insight on your brand new signing, Matt Doherty. So, how highly do I rate Matt Doherty? Um, fa fairly high. Um, there's players that I think in the Wolves squad that for their position are better players. Uh, but I think in terms of full-backs or wing-backs in the Premier League, Doc's got to be up there as one of the one of the top ones, you know, for a player that's been with us now 10 years last week or was with us for 10 years last week and sort of come f with the club all the way down to League One and then all the way back up through the Championship, the Premier League and obviously the Europa League last season, you know. That's no mean feat. It's not, you know, you, you're not a bad player if you can achieve that with one club. So, yeah, I think Wolves fans... Do rate him very highly, and uh, yeah, it, it's sad to see him go. I am very surprised at the fee. Um, I think Doherty would have been one of the players that I would have been satisfied to see leave Wolves, only because, you know, I think the club are moving so quickly now. I think Doc. Uh, was probably one of the players I felt could be replaced or at least uh, the position could have been improved on or strengthened slightly. Uh, but at the same time, I'm very, very disappointed as a wall sign with the fee that we w that we achieved or, and then what we got for Doc. Um, you know, touted at about £13.4 million. I felt personally that Walls could have got at least 20 possibly even £25 million in the current market with how some British players are, are going for. Obviously, English English and younger players tend to be going for a lot more. But I did feel that £13.4 million was a little bit low. Uh, I felt that we were doing, obviously, a favour for Jorge Mendes, who is Mourinho's agent and, of course, Doc's agent as well. Um, so I believe Tottenham have got a very, very good deal there. So yeah, under Nuno, Doc has flourished as a, a right wing back, uh, playing there literally every every time. I think he had a 45 minute spell last season where he played a little bit centre half and it didn't really suit him if I'm honest. So yeah, he's played in a back five as a right wing back under Nuno for the last five years, uh, three years, sorry. Um, as a right back, we, we saw plenty of him there obviously throughout the years, um, even playing as a left back for a whole season before. Uh, a few years ago. Um, he's okay. Um, I think the thing is with Doc, he's probably better going forward than he is defensively. Um, and I think with the way Mourinho works and that sort of his back forward transition into a back three with the right back going forward slightly, I think that would work for Doc. Um, but it's very, very risky, I think, having him in a back four. Only because I felt Wolves relied a lot on the centre-backs when Doc went forward. Uh, they relied on our right centre-back very often uh, when Doc didn't quite have the engine to get back. So my only fear for Tottenham is if Doc goes all the way forward, you've got one less centre-back worrying about that situation. So uh, it will be very, very interesting to see how Mourinho utilises him and possibly even more interesting to see if Mourinho potentially looks into the possibility of a back five for Tottenham next season. Doc's main strengths really are, are probably being for a right back, being in the right place at the right time. Um, I've seen some heat maps and shot maps of Doc over the last two years and it's crazy the position that guy's, guy gets himself into. There's been so many times over the last couple of seasons, especially in the Premier League, where Doc starts to move from the right hand side of the defence and less than 30 seconds later he's on the end of winning the ball into the in in the area to to score a goal um i think getting forward being a threat quite aerially is is good as well in and around the box just seems to know how to you know you know to get into the right place at the right time i think that's his strengths really and um getting forward if you want an attacking full back or wing back he's probably one of the best in the league to do that Weaknesses are his, I'm not going to say work rate, but sort of getting back. I think for Wolves, that was the issue where he didn't quite have the engine at times. He didn't quite have the pace to get back um, quick enough after he'd been attacking. Um, defensively, at times, he can be a little bit suspect, but that's what you expect. For a flying wing back, 
you can't expect him to be up and down, up and down the whole game, 90 minutes, all, all week, every week, which is what he was. He was our only right wing back for the last couple of years. He didn't really have any competition at all. Um, so for a player to have played well over 50 games consistently, playing to a very decent level, yeah, I can't expect much more from Doc. Like, like I said, I think his high, high goals and assists possibly do paper over some of the cracks in his game. Um, like, like I said, just there are some weaknesses to his, to his game and, and he can drop a few clangers, if I'm honest. Um, but at the same time, I say that there's players like Adama Traore who are the same. Um, I think every player in every football team really can have bad games and, and, and score a goal and it makes up for that. Uh, players like Adama do that. And I think at times this season, if Doc did have a slightly more intelligent player in front of him, other than Adama Traore, we could have seen a much better Doherty, uh, season for Matt Doherty as well. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. I think every fan's got an opinion and that's probably going to be one of them. Do I think he's easily upgradable? Not easily, I think he is upgradable, but not easily. It will, t it will take a lot more money for Wolves to spend on uh, that position than what we got for, for Doherty. I think he, there are wing-backs uh, and uh, players. I think because of Tottenham and Wolves, their situation being quite different, Wolves need a wing-back now, um, which you can probably find from abroad. But the issue is that I don't think we'll get a better player for 13.4 million or whatever it was. I don't think we'll get a better player than uh, Matt Doty for that price. So Wolves will have to spend more for certain. We, can, we I, I believe we can get a better wing back, but just not for the price. And will he be a good signing for Spurs? I think so. I think um, he'll settle in very well with the squad that's there already. Um, I think he will, like, obviously seeing his interviews as well, I think he will want to knuckle down and, and, and crack on. Spurs are a very good team in European football again, under a great coach, in my opinion, under Mourinho. And uh, it will be it will be very, very good to see and, and interesting to see if Doc can push on in a very good, very illustrious um, and well-supported team in Tottenham Hotspur. And I wish him all the best. You know, he's had 10 good years at Wolves. Um, he's, he's seen us, you know, win promotion, get to the Europa League, scored an FA Cup final for us, scored many important goals, Doc, as well. Um, he just seemed, and obviously he scored against you guys as well at the uh, at the new ground. So, yeah, best of luck to him. I think it'll be a good sign of Spurs for the price as well. No complaints if you're a Spurs fan, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, all the best to him. Yeah!